This video is going to show you a live update going from older versions of Crush FTP to Crush FTP 8. So in this case I'm going to go from Crush FTP 7 to Crush FTP 8. I've got uh, the web page instructions up here uh, that show you step by step on what to do. So I have a copy of Crush FTP 7 running right here. So I'm going to go launch the Crush FTP application. I've downloaded Crush FTP 8 and unzipped it already. Running Crush FTP 7. I'm going to remove the current daemon or service. Now that that's re removed, I'm going to copy over uh, the settings files from Crush FTP 7. So I need users, preferences, SSH keys. the SSL key store if you have one configured for your server and optionally your statistics database if you want to keep the reporting information and jobs if you have jobs configured. So let's copy those. Let's go to crush FTP 8. Let's paste them in here. Yes, over right. Copy and replace. Okay. Now if you have a logo file configured you might want to copy that as well. So in my web interface folder, images, I have a file called mycompany.png, that's my local file. So I'm going to copy that over to the crush FTP8 folder as well. Now we can launch version 8. In my case here, I have to launch it as an administrator because I'm running from program files, which is a privileged area. Start the temporary server. Reload my web page. Let me go enter in the new license information for Crush FTP8. Now we can go back to the application and install the daemon. Reload the page again. Now we're running from the daemon on version 8. I'm going to go update the paths to one of the key store files that was pointed to the old crush FTP7 folder. I can see that folder is still there so the certificate still tests successfully. I'm going to change it to the 8 folder because I copied it there and it still tests successfully as well. Updated the path and I'm going to restart the HTTPS port so it starts using the, the new location. Now at this point the crush FTP7 folder is no longer needed because there's nothing that should be pointing at it. To ensure that, you can rename it to something like off in order to make sure that there's nothing that's still pointed at it. You might want to keep it around for a week or two during your transition to Crush FTP 8, but that was all the time it took to do a full transition from Crush FTP 7 to Crush FTP 8.